Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be playing around with a mod called Tinker's Mechworks. Uh, basically, it allows you to make drawbridges. And by drawbridges, I basically just mean a door that extends and retracts. It's kind of like a super piston door, um, or like a jeb door, but far more... Uh, far easier to use and with much larger range. So this door right here has been bothering me for kind of a while now. <laughs> I think it is time that we did away with this. And it says we should be using an axe to harvest it, but... Oh uh, yeah, I guess it does want the axe. Okay, no problem. So let's go ahead and break out this carpenter's garage door. And we're going to put a different door in here instead. So there we go, we'll do that. And let's head down to our ME system. Uh, in fact, let's just put all of this stuff into our ME system. Oh, and those arrows too. And there we go. I'll put this jetpack away where it belongs. And let's go ahead and craft up a few things. So first of all, I'm going to need the drawbridges themselves. Now, the advanced, uh, there's there's three different ones. There's the regular drawbridge, the advanced drawbridge, and the extended drawbridge. Now, the extended drawbridge extends super, 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 super far. And it's, without a doubt, the most advanced. It also requires Ardite and Cobalt, so it's kind of pricey. Um, the single, the regular drawbridge has a range of 15 blocks, which would be more than enough for our needs, but it only will allow you to use one type of block as your drawbridge, and this will all make a lot more sense once I actually start building the thing. I think the one that we want is the advanced drawbridge, because this will give us the range that we need, and more importantly, it will allow us to extend the blocks in a specific order, which I think is really good. Now, I just realized I'm gonna need some, some aluminum brass. And that is unfortunate. Um, let's see, aluminum and copper. I can make some, I think. Can't use gold. I've got four ingots, but that's not gonna be enough. So let's grab a stack of those. And it was aluminum and copper, I believe. So we'll grab a stack of that. And I think that'll be sufficient. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be plenty. It'll be fine. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, I need to pulverize these in a spot where they're not going to get smelted right away. Um, if I put that in here. Yeah, that's not doing me any good whatsoever. What about you? Is that going to end up going into the furnace? No, no, it doesn't. Okay, good. So we can smelt up those and get some aluminum dust. And then this copper really is not doing me any good because it's just getting smelted back into ingots. So let's grab another stack of those and we'll just start pulverizing those over here. And I think that will be good to go. So let's let those run for a little bit. There we go. And let's see about dust. I've got some aluminum dust here. Where's my copper dust going? Oh, because it's not called dust. It's called pulverized. Haha, -ha, that makes sense. Okay. And let's just combine those. That'll make a bunch of those ingots. And that should be enough for our purposes here. And let's just smelt those up. They should smelt pretty quickly. And that'll get us some aluminum brass. So we should be in good shape. Okay. Otherwise, you can use the uh, the Tinker Smeltery to actually make that work. So, let's look at our drawbridges here. We'll put those guys in there as well. And I think I need... What? Why you no work? Oh, I gotta make these guys first. And it looks like those casts do not actually stack in there. So, here we go. We're going... Uh, let's go one, two, three... What did I need that I don't have right now? Was it a dispenser? I think. Yeah. Let's just... Oh, 
I just made a ton of droppers that I... Ah! Ah, this just isn't my day. Okay. Let's just make... A bunch of bows. And we'll just put those all in. And now... Let's do dispensers. There we go. And finally... Let's do... Drawbridges. There we go. So that gives us nine. And I think I ultimately need like five of these. So we'll put those in here. Oh, you know what? Did I really do that? I totally did. Ah, <sighs> The struggle is real today, guys. The struggle is real. Man, I'm losing my mind. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go make... Actually, let's just take some gold ingots because they stack much faster and we'll head back to our tinker's smeltery which actually come to think of it you guys probably haven't seen the tinker's smeltery in quite a while i don't think i've even really been over there at least not on camera for a pretty long time it's definitely been a day or two uh, <laughs> to say the least and by that i mean a couple of months so we'll swing over and we'll actually take a look at it. It's been, since it's been so long, I, I think that's probably a good plan. So this is our smeltery building, and this whole big thing is our smeltery. It holds a ridiculous amount of stuff. So let's just smelt up a bunch of gold ingots. There we go. That should be plenty. And we'll make ourselves some casts. Just blank, regular old casts. Nothing amazingly complicated or difficult. There we go. And we'll just get those going. Uh, I, it looks like they require two ingots per cast. So I should be able to make a decent amount. Let me get these made. I'll head back to the factory area and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and we've got plenty of casts. I've got 16 of them. That should be plenty for what I need. Uh, so let's go ahead and make, uh, let's see, drawbridge. Let's go ahead and make five of these guys. There we go. And then I'm probably going to need some redstone. Uh, so let's see, do I still have any of that redstone wire? Redstone alloy. I seem to remember I had redstone wire from back when I did the relatively vanilla sugarcane farm. Uh, let's see. If I search for wire... Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. Get me some of that. Okay. And then, last but not least, I think I want a... button. Well, hmm. How's the best way to do this? Because I'm going to want it to open from multiple sides. I think I'll sort out the redstone after I get the door in place. Let's do that. Um, let's just grab ourselves some levers, though, just so we can test it and make sure that it is actually working before we get all crazy with wiring up redstone and stuff like that. So what I want is right here... We're going to have the door, okay? And it's going to start up there, I believe. And that should work, right? Yes. So, if I put... I'm just going to break this guy temporarily. If I put this lever here, and I throw... All right, good. See, I just throw those guys into here like so like that how how big is this space four one two one two three four yeah that's four so let's actually break those out and do this and then extend that it'll spit out a door just like so which is pretty cool and then you can actually apply a texture i believe by doing this yeah, there we go. So this is the texture of the that the block itself will take. 
and then you can fill up the inventory. The other cool thing is that it, it actually emits a redstone signal to the one next to it, so you only actually have to make a redstone signal reach one of these blocks, and then it will work on all of them, which is good. So, now, I don't want to actually use that block combination, because I think it would look horrible, uh, but I did just kind of want to demonstrate what it's going to look like, so... All right, let's grab our chisel here, and let's figure out what we actually want to do for our door. I'm thinking, hmm, what would look good? That's kind of an interesting block. Ooh, yeah, 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 we'll do that. And then we'll make some of these caution blocks. Actually, let's do, let's do the yellow ones. And we're going to make all of these look like this. Ooh, actually, I should find out. Does it extend properly? Because that's going to be kind of a big deal. Yes, the connected textures do work. Oh, that's amazing. That makes me so happy. Okay, I don't like this texture, though, for the... Um, for the top one. That works. That works much better. Okay. So, let me get all of these guys filled up. Oh, it's only four. There we go. Here, inventory. Like so. Here. Do, do, do. And last one. There we go. So now... Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. I like it. Okay. And then we've got just random... Oh, I think I just accidentally mined that. That's okay. Let's go... Actually, let's put yellow in a line right here to represent, hey, don't stand here or you're going to get hit with the door. And then that will shut like so. Although, if we're going to do that, it would be better to have the yellow in here, because then it will look like the door actually extends up into the ceiling. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, so now, now we need to wire up the redstone. Fair warning for those of you who don't know, I'm terrible at redstone. I'm absolutely horrible at redstone. It is not my strong point. So bear with me, because <laughs> this might be, what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is, this is about to get pretty derpy. Uh, let's just make a little pathway in here. And these should be one, two, three, four, five. And there shouldn't be anything here, right? Yeah. So these are our drawbridges right there. So that's good. So what I want is I want a system. Actually, just out of curiosity, if I put a button, uh, let's just grab some planks. If I make a bunch of buttons and I put one here oh it seems like that one only affects right there what if it's here okay so that's not gonna work what if we do redstone wire coming up and this is not where the redstone wire would ultimately go, for the record, because that would look terrible. What if we have it cross all of them, like that? And then we put a button here. It works.
it works. Okay. Because what I'm thinking is that might be enough. We would need a redstone torch. Um, to go somewhere. Uh, I guess it could go here. So then when we press the button... Yeah, it opens just long enough for us to get out. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Now. <laughs> problem. How do I get back out? <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there anything back here? No, there's not. So we could say this is where the button would go on this side. And... Over here, we could put the button right here. So let's let's get rid of this redstone wire. I don't think it matters what we actually use to break it with, but we'll get this. Like so. Okay. And it's getting late. Let's actually take a little bit of a nap. So basically what I need is an OR gate, where if I hit the button here, or I hit the button here, it's going to shut. So let's put a button here, and here, okay? Then, we definitely want, uh, let me grab some smooth stone. Why do I always type in smooth stone? There we go. Then we need stone there. And those will connect around. And we can put our concrete back right here. So this will be redstone signal and this will be a redstone signal. So if we take our wire like that, does this light up? No. But if we do it like that, then it will. And there it will. Okay, good. So that's a good step. That's a good step. So then we'll go over here. And let's see. Just for the sake of wiring this up with the smallest amount of space possible, I would say we just bring this up right there and do that. Although, then this thing is going to be open. So somewhere we need to invert the signal. So why don't we do something... We can even bring that up a little bit more. We do that, maybe. Put this guy here. And... A redstone torch here. Like so. And then if we press that button. Oh, I think that actually worked. Look at that. Doing redstone, kind of, sort of. I mean, it's redstone wire, not regular redstone, but it still gets the job done. I mean, basically, the only difference between that and regular redstone is that, um, you know, I didn't have to do some crazy sort of tunnel to get the signal up there. I was able to just take it straight up. But still, that works really well. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's just grab a little bit of dirt and patch up that hole. And actually, since we have a nice big gap over here, we should probably drop a torch or two in there as well, just in case. Maybe one here and one here. And then one down there. There we go. That should do. Although I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, I think I've actually got a, a magnum torch around here, so nothing would spawn anyway. But that's okay. It works. We have a wonderful, beautiful, working drawbridge. 
And I think that is all that I have time for in this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.